Are you tired of practicing all the manifestation methods out there, but still not seeing any results? If so, then this video is for you. In this video, we will explore a specific concept that will take your manifestation journey to the next level. So, if you want to learn how to manifest the impossible and achieve your desires easily, then watch this video till the end. Before we dive into the concept, let's talk about Neville Goddard's teachings. If you truly understand and apply his teachings, you will manifest your desires. However, if you try some techniques without fully understanding the teachings of Neville, you will likely manifest nothing. This is where the concept we are about to discuss comes in. The concept I want to talk about is the concept of parallel reality and quantum hopping. This concept is crucial for understanding most manifestation techniques, and it is applied throughout the whole universe. However, many people struggle to understand this concept, and as a result, fail to manifest their desires. So, what is parallel reality and quantum hopping? Imagine that there are countless realities, and every time you make a decision, you enter a new reality. Neville Goddard and other spiritual teachers say that whatever you can think of, you can manifest. But is everything easy to manifest? The answer is yes, if you grasp the concept of infinite realities. There are infinite realities, and whenever we make a decision, we enter a new reality. When a manifestation coach tells you that you can manifest anything or that everything is under your control, you might disagree because the reality is different or your manifestation is not coming true. However, if you understand the concept of infinite realities, you will understand how everything can be manifested. Have you ever heard of the concept that creation is finished? This is Neville Goddard's most popular concept and it is discussed in his lectures and books. If creation is finished and everything has already been created, then why do we need to create things? If all things are already ours, why do we want to manifest our desires? The answer is simple. When we decide to manifest a desire, it takes us to another state. Our decisions cause us to move from one state to another. Thoughts are just thoughts, and they have no meaning or value until we act on them. When we act on a thought, it becomes a fact, as Neville explained in his teachings. When you visualize or affirm, you are shifting into a new reality. When creation is finished, it means that every possible thing has already been created and every state already exists. It is up to you to choose which state you want to enter. There is a state of having no money, and there is a state with millions of dollars. It is your choice which state you want to enter. Understanding the concept of infinite realities and quantum hopping is crucial for manifesting your desires. When you shift your focus from lack to abundance and choose to enter a state of abundance, you will manifest your desires effortlessly. Let's talk about the different states that we can experience. There is a state of crying and a state of smiling. However, it is up to us to enter any state we desire this is because creation has finished and every possible state and imaginable thing exists for us. The determining factor of our fate is our decision to act on an idea, notion, or thought. If we act on the idea of becoming rich, we will eventually become rich. But if we act on the thought of doing nothing, we will do nothing and enter a state of having nothing. When we act on an idea, our consciousness is directed towards that specific direction and things start to change. Parallel realities exist, meaning that the same person or thing exists in different forms, locations, and realities. There are many versions of ourselves, with one being super rich and another extremely poor. By acting on specific thoughts, we can become super rich or poor. All of these versions exist due to different thoughts, beliefs, and minds. The number of realities that exist is equivalent to the number of thoughts in the universe. The different realities that exist are not because we create them, but because thoughts and imagination exist. It is worth noting that things existed before ideas in the universe. This means that we can only think of things that already exist since creation is finished. Who we are at any given moment and the reality we possess is a result of our thoughts, beliefs, and choices. 
The state we are currently embodying reflects our thoughts. This is what metaphysics calls quantum jumping, which is the shift from one state to another. Neville Goddard often suggests that quantum jumping can help us enter the state of wish fulfillment, which is derived from the concept of quantum jumping. Shifting or embodying different states is easy because every version of ourselves exists. We can become a different version of ourselves by updating our thoughts, removing some thoughts, or becoming conscious of something. We are continually evolving, and each day we become a new version of ourselves because we have different thoughts. Now let's move on to the topic of manifesting a specific person while keeping the concept of infinite realities in mind. Many people believe that manifesting a specific person goes against free will. This is because we are trying to manifest something that may not be in alignment with their desires. However, the concept of infinite realities suggests that manifesting a specific person is completely fine and nothing is wrong with it. The person we are trying to manifest has infinite realities just like us. There may be a reality in which the person is obsessed with us, and there may be a reality where they love us with all their heart and soul. There is even a reality in which the person we desire is lying with us, and we both love each other. Therefore, when we try to manifest a specific person, we are not harming them or going against their free will. We are simply choosing to manifest a version of them that we prefer to live with. In other words, we enter a state where that person is in love with us and enter into that reality by making a decision to act upon some idea or thought. For example, we may choose the idea of doing affirmations or visualizations to manifest that specific person. It is up to us to choose which version of others we want to manifest since they have an infinite number of versions. According to Neville Goddard, the attitude of others towards us depends on who we are as individuals. Thus, if we want others to treat us with kindness and respect, we need to embody those qualities ourselves. One way to achieve this is through the concept of shifting realities or embodying states. By manifesting somebody in our lives, we are essentially saying goodbye to the version of them that we don't like and welcoming the version that we desire. This is not wrong as we are simply choosing what we want, and there is nothing inherently harmful about that. Additionally, by manifesting positive thoughts and emotions, we can create a more positive reality for ourselves and those around us. However, some may worry about the impact of manifesting on a third party. The truth is that if we approach manifesting with negative thoughts and doubts, we may end up creating problems for ourselves and failing to achieve our desired outcomes. Instead, we must learn to approach manifesting with ease and positivity, focusing only on what we want and embodying the state that allows us to achieve it. The law of assumption states that we must suspend our disbelief and eliminate doubts in order to manifest our desires. We must give positive meaning to things in order to experience beauty and abundance. Both positive and negative things exist in the world, but it is up to us to choose which reality we want to experience. We have infinite versions of ourselves and can choose who we want to be in any given situation. The concept of quantum jumping is not limited to manifesting relationships or specific outcomes. It can be applied to all aspects of our lives and we should strive to turn inward instead of depending on others. By becoming aware of our thoughts and choosing only positive ones to act on, we can avoid inviting sorrow and unwanted circumstances into our lives. Enjoy manifesting, enjoy manifesting, enjoy manifesting.